This video is about how to save, cancel and disable cases or tracing requests. These are basic functions in the CPMS Plus Primero that will help you better understand how to deal with data entry of cases or tracing requests. The save function is essential to data entry. Due to oftentimes unstable internet connections in places where we work, it is crucial to save edits made in cases and tracing requests as often as possible. We saw in the video on creating cases, editing a case, how to create cases or tracing requests. Once your case or incident is created, if you wish to edit it, you need to select a relevant case or incident in the list view under cases or under tracing request. and click on Edit. Once you're done making changes in each form group, click on Save. You know that the system has successfully saved your changes if you see a notification on the top of the screen like this one, saying case, case number, was successfully updated. For the reasons previously mentioned, it is very important that you do not wait to have edited several form groups before clicking on save. You might lose all of your new entries changes if the connection breaks down before you had the time to hit save. Therefore, make sure to click save after every form group or at least every 3 to 5 minutes. In case you have entered wrong information in a case or a tracing request and you do not wish to save it, you can click on cancel. In this case, a pop-up window will show clicking OK will discard any unsaved changes and return to the list view. Click Cancel to return to the record. If you click OK, the unsaved changes will not be saved. If you click Cancel, you will return to your record and be able to see unsaved changes. In the CPMS Primero, you cannot delete cases or tracing requests. However, you can disable records which is more or less the equivalent of deleting from users in the sense that it will no longer be visible for the user. Only certain users will have access to this functionality. In order to do so, select a case or a tracing request, either in the list view or by clicking on it. Go to Actions and select Disable. A pop-up window will show clicking OK will change the status of this record to invalid record. Click OK. You have now completed Save, Cancel and Disable Cases or Tracing Requests tutorial. You can find more video tutorials like this one on Primero Support Hub.